It is widely known that New Jersey has a budget crisis and Governor Corzine is proposing cuts that would affect residents all across the Garden State. With about one and a half million uninsured residents, some state hospital workers are concerned that the proposed cuts could devastate hospitals, programs and services far and wide. Residents with and without health insurance could be caught right smack in the crosshairs. Uh, we serve about 50,000 uh, people a year. Uh, mostly women, children, um, other adults, but our focus uh, historically has been women and children. This little boy may not like what's going on, but he's getting the vital medical attention so many children like him desperately need. This is Camden's Osborne Family Health Center on Haddon Avenue, operated by the Lourdes Health System. Many staffers here are bilingual. The center offers a wide range of medical services for low income, uninsured, or underinsured New Jersey residents. Most of the individuals that use Osborne, um, I would say, are uninsured or, or, or have difficulty accessing insurance. But, you know, I think that, that one thing that I would say about um, uh, probably a misconception about who are the poor, you know, uh, people think the poor are, are, you know, what they have envisioned in their mind. But most of, most of the people that come here are basically working poor. They have jobs. Um, they're, they're in jobs that don't offer uh, health insurance through their employment uh, or they cannot afford to purchase the health insurance and so I think that what we offer is really uh, a service to the community, not only to the city of Camden but to the entire region. Uh, as a values-based provider, uh, no one has ever turned away here. That is our mission uh, to provide, uh, provide access you know, to vulnerable populations and, and basically that's what this is. Parents who take their children in for regularly scheduled visits are doing the right thing. But according to Dr. Emmanuel Ashong, he sees a number of parents who fail to keep appointments, thus putting their children at risk by delaying scheduled visits and timely vaccinations. Particularly the timeliness of the shots, because they may end up by school age when it's required to have finished. But in the interim, there are so many gaps which could then make the child susceptible to the illness we're trying to prevent, and that's a concern. Women can come to Osborne Family Health Center for various types of medical care. There's also a prenatal class for expectant mothers. We deliver about, I think it's 1,200 babies a year through here, and it's always been a very vital part of our program. We have specialized services for teens here. Uh, we also service um, you know, women through childbearing age and menopause. Besides medical care, there are lots of other services offered here. For example, there's a clothes closet and volunteers ready to help school-aged children with after-school tutoring. And while the children are waiting to be examined, they can take time out for a special literacy program called Reach Out and Read. My sister and I, Rosalie, we started reading when we were sophomores in high school. And we are from immigrant families, and we never got read to when we were younger. And it was a great way to like, read to kids, because these kids are from Camden City, and a lot of the parents are immigrants, mm -hmm. and they never get read to at home also, so it's a great way to give back. One of the things that we're most proud of and, uh, as a health system, as the Lourdes Health System, is our commitment to our mission and the various outreach programs. Even with those proposed budget slashes, the CEO of Lourdes says they're being looked at as a potential model for primary care by other facilities. I think as the uh, state is talking about uh, universal health care, mm -hmm. and that's one of the, uh, the big issues for, you know, nationally as well as for the state of New Jersey, uh, they're saying that this is, this is a model really that would anchor uh, uh, basically un universal health coverage. Visions returns after this commercial break, so please stay with us.